Jasmine and I am back after a month of being missing in action and I am super sorry but you know what it's summertime and when it's summertime we are actually going out hiking me and my husband and we are huge uh, national park lovers so last month we went to Utah and we covered almost all the national parks over there and we hiked I had some pictures over here and then what else what else is the excuse of me not being there is simply me being just super lazy but having said that this one defense that i i have for myself is that um recently me and a couple of my other instagram friends plant friends we were arranging the um plant swap in bay area california which is basically san francisco and all the nearby counties like we were not expecting more than 30 35 people when we started planning for this event and by the time the registration went over there were almost 140 plus people and i've heard stories from other people saying you know just bring in whatever cuttings you have like pothos simple things and you'll still find something i'm like mm, i wonder how would someone give away their beautiful jewel orchid to me for nothing but you know it's a true story that really happened with me i'll show you all the cuttings that i brought with me and all the cuttings that i took home well brought we brought with me in the sense i brought to the event and whatever I, I came back home with plant community is like the best community we've heard that so far but that was like so true when i organized that event like we were worried how the plant swap would happen do we need to come up with certain kind of rules for people to adhere to in terms of make this swap smooth it's more like a networking event where people are socializing talking to each other and, and if they see what they want they can exchange it for something that they brought and you know what it we had absolutely no rules and it went super smooth like everybody was so happy after the event was over we saw so many pictures on instagram wherein people were calling it out and saying oh it was such a huge success and they want the event another event very soon but having said that i'll insert a picture here which shows the things that i the cuttings that i brought with me it was mainly variegated marantha i had two cuttings of variegated string of heart two cuttings of um uh, string of dolphins, lemon lime philodendron, then I had green philodendron, then I brought some uh, succulents with me, echoaria, crassula, those kind of things, and snake plant, and uh, blah, 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 one begonia that I got, which is like a smaller version of angel wing begonia. And what else did I bring with me? Because I can't look at the picture right now while I'm filming because that's on my phone and I'm filming with my phone. But anyways, you see the picture over there and you know what kind of... I basically brought basic things. Like I brought a cutting of uh, Monster Ar Adansonia. But okay, back to me. So I want to show you what all things I got um, because of those cuttings. And sometimes people were just generous. Like they were just like, oh, you want this? Just take it. Because the kind of things that I had, they already have. But let's stop all of that chatting. And before we even start that, guys, I want to say thanks to Carol, Shariza, Minimal Plants SF, and um, yeah, for coming up and saying hi to me because they've been watching my YouTube videos. That was, that was very um, nice to meet such people in person. So thanks so much, Carol, for, for coming to the event and for talking to me. Thank you, Minimal Plants SF. I need to catch your name. I know you're watching it. Most probably it's Ken, but I might be wrong. And Shariza, she has like the most beautiful Hoya um, flowers on her Hoya. Okay, the first swap that I did was a Monstera Adansonia cutting plus a um, green lemon lime philodendron. And I got a Calathea. I got this Calathea Freddy. That's why I gave her two cuttings because I'm like, no way. This is just for one monster ad in Sony. I, okay. It's been a long time. I've forgotten how to film it. But you can you can see. It's a big, huge cutting. She had like three cuttings of this. She was actually give, giving away all of them because she was like, okay, I can't deal with Kalithias anymore. And, I, and I'm like, bring it to me, mama. 
but it's it's still in um, sphagnum moss. I need to take it out. But I actually opened it up and misted it so that the roots still have some moisture to suck in, and it's doing good. It, I think it's called Tenanthi Burl Max, and I gave her um, my string of dolphins, both of them, for that. And it's this beautiful rooted cutting. Can you see it? It has some brown spots, but it's nicely rooted. And there were like two more leaves, but when I opened them, they all broke from here. I think it's like rotting from here. I don't know if you can um, propagate uh, Calathea or Tenanthi from the leaf stem itself. But what I did was I basically dipped that in rooting hormone and just put it in the soil. I didn't want to throw it away. But we'll see what happens with that and in between all these swabs that i had there was one lady she was i think her name is amy she was so nice so generous to give away these two cuttings for free like without any swab one is this hoya keriae and it's not just a leaf it's like a proper stem with good amount of roots can you see the roots yep and this beautiful leaf like a big size Plus, she gave me a Hoya Retusa node here. Well, look at that. I've never seen that before. And we'll see how this one grows. It's currently propagating in water. Thank you so much, Amy. If you're watching, not sure if you're watching, but thanks, thanks again. The next one is from my co-organizer. Her name is Eula, Eula. And she gave me these two Adansonia cuttings. Now, I already have this plant and I actually took a cutting of it from my plant, but the one that I have doesn't have these many uh, fenestrations, is what you call it, holes, whatever. And so I really wanted this one and she gave me two cuttings of it. They are not rooted yet, so I'm rooting them in water. So this lady, her name is Jolly. I don't know if I'm supposed to say out names, but these are like really cool people, so I'm hoping they won't mind. Okay, okay before we even go there, go there. Sorry, it's been a while for me to film YouTube videos and I'm like losing my touch. So if I'm all over the place, you know why. The plant lady in the plant community, you might have seen her or follow her Instagram account. She's called Soil Planties and her name is Mary Rose. She flew all the way from San Diego to um, San Francisco to attend this event and wow, oh my God, it was so fun to have her there. And she gave me two jewel orchid. I think it's called Ludicia Discolor for free. Like I saw it in her bag and I'm like, dude, I want that one. What do you want from me? And she's like, no, girl, you can just take it. And she gave me actually two separate cuttings and each cutting had like two of them. I'll show you one cutting right now. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a healthy rooted cutting and it's like super big. You can see the roots are over there. And these are like two big, huge cuttings and she gave me two of these. So total four cuttings. And I'm like, wow, thank you so much. She's the best girl ever. And so now that I had four of them, I'm like, okay, I can exchange two of them for something else because I don't want so many of them. And I had my eyes on this ficus ordery that Jolie was having. So I gave the cutting to her and I got this in return. She has like a big, huge, uh, this plant, ficus ordery. I think it's called Bengalinus. And I've been wanting to have this one. See, that's what this plant swap is all about. That's why I say it was such a success. That's why I say plant community is like best community ever because they are like giving you away things for nothing. Okay. And talking about giving away plants for nothing, I got another one. I was like so lucky in that swap event. Like I got things for nothing. I got this Peperomia... I think it's called Gravelescence something. I'll put the names over here. And it's like a taco shaped leaf. And I got this for free. Okay. Okay, what else should I be showing you? Then another of my um, co organizer, Mish, she gave me this Pelia Peppermoides for a. Uh, Echoveria that I had, but look at the size. This is huge and it has good amount of roots. 
they are all ready to be potted in soil but i'm just not able to find time probably i'll do it this weekend okay the next one is a coffee uh, plant coffee arabica i think and this one has roots it's just sitting it's waiting for its turn to be pot in soil but this was again a free cutting that i got like people were leaving towards the end and since we were the organizer we were waiting for everybody to leave before we can clean up the space so there were like bunch of people who had like things left that they didn't want to take it home they were like okay just take it from us we don't want them <laughs> so that was really cool and then one last thing that i got from my really good friend i can call him now minimal plants underscore sf he was my first um youtube follower as well and i know he's watching it right now i got a ring of fire leaf begonia from him and i'm currently propagating it using the method that um summer rain oaks showed in one of her videos you basically make a u cut and dip it in and just make it like a cone and just put some soil on top of that so i'm rooting this and then i'm rooting the actual leaf also if you can see over here so let's see how that goes probably i should cover it up with something to maintain the moisture the soil looks really soily and dry i think that's pretty much it um i got like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve plants and i think i took close to ten eleven plants so that's a really good i mean these are all my wish list plants so it's really good to have them for free so i would really like i would really encourage if you guys are in an area where plant swap is happen happening and you're like you're like stopping yourself from not going because you don't have those um rare plants i would say just go just ha take whatever you have and just attend the swap because there are so many generous people out there who are who have all these who are blessed to have all these rare or beautiful plants and they are willing to let go of it just because they want to see the plant community grow i think that's the whole idea but anyways coming back to me and me being missing in action my next video should be um succulent tour i am pretty much ready i cleaned up my succulent last weekend just to make sure that they all look good all the dead leaves are gone so i have prepped them all and i should be filming and filming a video out real soon and put it out on youtube i hope you guys had fun i hope you like this video i hope you liked all the babies and i hope you're having a great week and i hope you're going to have a great week and that's coming real soon thanks so much for watching my video and i'll see you in my next one Bye.